reading and studying and practicing and dueling these people, these hunters, that if you stay five yards away from the trap, that it wouldn't go off. And that was just enough to hit them. <laughs> it had a three yard radius. And I also had a belt that got me out of it, right? Just in case. And I was like, I shouldn't rely on stealth anymore. I'm just gonna run up on them, sprint, and just start wailing on them. I, was, I changed my spec to a more combat-based spec, where all I had to do was hit them. And uh, this freaking blew their mind. These hunters were like, how the hell is he killing me every time? <laughs> and uh, none of their conventional tricks worked anymore, because I got rid of it. I found ways around it. And that's what really made me love that game. I was like so good at the game. I was fighting people in tuxedos, the hot hand flower. I was like, I don't need nothing. I'm so good at this damn game. Because I spent years, like eight hours to 10 hours a day playing this game, right? Like, I remember I went out outside one time and I was like, ah! I was watering so bad. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, no more. And uh, I'm sure some of you guys may know exactly what I'm talking about. It's very sad. Um, so, full circle, why World of Warcraft taught me like the value of hard work. Because I was literally like the best rogue at that time in that game. Because I put so much hard work. But, who cares? <laughs> who cares if I was the best rogue? <laughs> and I, I remember that day that I realized that. I think it was the same day that I was blinded by the sun. Um, <laughs> I was like, I, I should apply this to something else. And then that was full circle to my introduction. When I decided to make a, a difference in my life, that's kind of where I spawned from. It's like I realized World of Warcraft was a bunch of crap and it was just a waste of my time. I believe in playing video games is great. Play video games. It's an industry I work in, please. Uh, but in this industry, you guys want to work in as well, I'm sure. But you know, to the point where how much I played it, it was very, it was very, uh, you know, bad. You know, intervention bad. And so. You know, I, I applied it to something else, and I applied it to my art. And I'm trying to show you guys, like, put that passion you may have in something that is pointless into something that is meaningful and has a point to it, okay? People want artists. People want designers. People want people that are, in, like, aspiring to do well. And uh, there's no one that I know, like I said, that doesn't practice hard. John Lasseter, the guy that basically kickstarted Pixar, right? He was like the hardest worker at CalArts, right? He's like one of the best animators there. So it's like no surprise that Pixar ends up becoming this great enterprise. And not only that, Steve Jobs, who was behind it, has a similar story, right? Uh, totally can see that in John Lasseter. He's like, yeah, I, I totally get that. I don't care for $5 million in debt for like five years. Like Pixar is gonna be something great because of the people who work on, who's working on it. And he was right. Right? Because then all the, these amazing movies like uh, Finding Nemo, Up, Wally, they would have never been made, right? Toy Story had its first iteration uh, totally demolished, and then they made another one. And so it's like, even the great movies and great video games you've played, there's always this kind of story where when they realize that it sucks, they do it again. Because, you know, it's all about doing your best work and constantly practicing and uh, a favorite word that my friend Rob Sevilla says is iteration. And this, this comes to both design and painting. Iterate, iterate, iterate. Like, and I, I put a lot of emphasis on iteration as well as practice because iteration, uh, I think more, in, it, it comes back to allowing yourself to make mistakes and then saying, I can do better. And then moving forward. Because everybody makes mistakes. Everyone can see that Michael Jordan commercial. Where he's like, I failed a thousand times, but that's how I learned how to succeed. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Michael Jordan is a great example of that because he's totally right. He he practiced and he failed, and people said he couldn't do it and he couldn't make it, but he kept on, you know, keep on he kept on doing it. And so, you know, this this whole first part of the lecture is very more like a motivational speech, right, to get you guys off your asses and to work hard. And honestly, the people that are gonna work hard are gonna work hard. And the people that aren't gonna work hard aren't gonna work hard. And there's really nothing that I can say. Um, but all I'm, all I'm trying to do right now is trying to prove to you guys that hard work does pay off, okay? So once you start committing to it, you can be promised